It's like, well, it's like, oh shit. It's like the show must go on. So, so what we're gonna do is just go ahead and start it. Like, um, I couldn't get I couldn't get the um I would have had to call in on the uh on the blog talk side and use my phone as the mic. I'm not doing that because there there's gonna be a whole host of problems that come after that. So we're not doing that. What time is it? 7 17. Damn, start lady shit. All right, but we we're gonna do this thing anyway. So maybe I'll come that come back to the blog talk side later on and see what we could do. But um, for now, let's get it popping. Urban Therapy with Sun Sun Seven Five Two with this your daily daily the daily the daily the daily the daily the daily the daily go get a mism show. We do this every single day, every single day, every day, every day it rains, every day it rains. And the DG will do the same. We break it down, baby. Every day it rains. And the DG will do the same. Every day it rains. And the DG will do the same. Every day it rains. And the DG will do the same. Every day it rains. And the DG will do the same. I'm your host, Sun752, a.k.a. Omar, with the... And if you can't say Omar with the rrr, well, then you just say Omar with the R's, the Daily Go Get a Business Show, all up in your area. I'm feeling like a real man should, even with the technical difficulties. You know, sometimes it just be like that way in life. But we still press on. We still move on. We still keep it moving. And everything is going to be all right. Everything is going to be all right. Throwback Thursday, all up in your area. It's the 18th of the month. All up in, yeah, all up in your area. Let's get real about relationships Thursday. That's what we are on all Disney. Yeah, so what's up, y'all? All All right, so check it out. Tonight, tonight on the Daily Go Get a Business Show, we are talking about a separated household. A separated household tonight on the Daily Go Get a Business Show, we are talking about a situation where a couple lives in a house. It doesn't necessarily have to be a couple. We're talking about anyone where you have a a living arrangement with where you are actually living in the house and they are actually living in the house with you. This is your home. This is your address. People write to you here. Bill collectors look for you here. When people um, are saying that you are home, this is where they are talking about. So what happens when you are living in that home separated from somebody else that lives in that home? So you could have roommates that you have had a falling out with and that you don't like. Y'all not getting along. Y- y- you don't like. I said, y'all not getting along. Y- you don't like. I said, you're not getting along. Y- you don't like. No, no, no. I don't like her. She don't like me. I don't like him. Yo, he's a wannabe. I'm not talking to them. We are separated. Forks and knives. Don't use my motherfucking pots tonight. And if you do, it's going to be a problem because I got a problem with you. And I'll solve them with a, with, a, a, with a dot in your eye. Yo, you try to talk that shit and pop fly. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a show you who's boss. And Trust me, dog. You're going to take that L. Yeah, it's a loss, and it's not going to be something that you're proud. Yo, lower your voice. Don't get loud. When you talk to me, yo, talk to me with respect before I check your neck. Sometimes it be like that. You're living in a house, and it's separated, baby. You're living in a house, and it's separated. Yeah, I have seen, seen situations where it gets bad. Where it gets bad, whether y'all roommates, whether y'all lovers, whether y'all are spouses. But we're going to talk about what it's like to live with somebody that you're just not getting along with. Now, this may have started, it may have started when you were young, living in your own house, living under your mama roof, living under your parents' house, living in your parents' house, living under your parents' roof. I've seen situations where people wasn't talking to their parents. Hmm? Yeah, I've seen situation with, situations where people wasn't talking to their parents. It sounds crazy, right? Like, cause a lot of parents don't 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 go for that shit. And you be talk, we be talking about how in a black household, 
it ain't gonna be none of that not speaking shit. You know, when you come into a black house, when you come into a black home, you supposed to speak to whoever is in house when you got in that motherfucker, right? So what if what if the people that that are in there are the people that are always there, and one of those people is you? But the thing is. This is not even a respect situation. You're not coming there as a visitor. You are coming there as somebody who is a resident. So, I've, like I said, I've seen situations where people were living under their parents' roof, whether they were younger, whether they were old enough to be able to pay a little rent, and they wasn't speaking to them. Like, nah, I, ain't, I don't like that shit that my mom did. You know, she fronted on me, or she she did this, she did that, or whatever. And I'm not talking to her. So, I'll have my money at the at the um front of, at the beginning of the month, but best believe I'm saving up my money because I'm getting them up out of here. I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. I had enough. I had enough. I had enough. Yeah. Now that's a bad situation, not just not just on the social side, but on the on the on the family side. You know, nobody should have a situation where they're not speaking to their parents, but it happens. You know. And the crazy thing about it is it could have been something that you did. It could have been something that they did. But the situation has to be taken care of. The situation has to be taken care of. And, um, and, 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 um, and, 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 um, yeah, y'all not speaking to each other. So how do you live in a small space, like a single family, single family dwelling? Where y'all not speaking to each other? Well, it happens. I've seen it happen with people. With, and I'm not lying. I have seen situations where people were living in a room together. No, not an apartment. A room together. No, not an efficiency. A room together. I ain't talking about no studio. A room together. Yeah, they renting a room together. One bed. And they not speaking to each other. Uh, yo, one on the bed and one on the floor. I ain't talking to you, fucking whore. I can't stand you. Get on my nerves. Soon as I get my weight up, yo, I'm about to swerve on up out of here. And I'm leaving you tonight. But uh, sometimes it be working out of height and some, sometimes I need to get in the asses tight because, you know, I got to get my shit up. I, we are in close quarters and we got a daughter and a son, but they ain't living with us right now, hon. Yeah, but I've seen it. And that's crazy. That's crazy. When you're not speaking to each other and you're, in, and you're living in close quarters, you'll probably do some things to keep from, from coming home. So instead of coming home from work, if you do work, you'll probably work a little overtime or go somewhere after work, go visit somebody or whatever, because you're trying not to come home on, on the real shit, on some real shit, because you know, as soon as you get to the door, you're going to have to give that big sigh. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Come on, man. Don't, listen, this we're not going to do. We're not going to act like we don't know what we're talking about. You know that somewhere in your life, you have, you have lived somewhere with somebody and when you came home, when you got to the door, you can feel the stress behind the door like it's a fire. You can feel the heat. You feel the fire. Feel the fire. Feel the fire. Feel the fire. So when you got to that door, you on the, you on the doormat. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be the doormat. Y'all see the doormat? We on the doormat right here. And you, you get on the doormat and you give that big... You just let out that sigh, that big... Because you have to mentally prepare yourself for what you're going to get into when you get um, on the other side of that door. You know that when you get on the other side of that door, it ain't sweet like that, baby. It ain't. It ain't sweet like that. So you like. What's she going to say today? How am I going to get some sleep tonight? What's going to go down? Will there be a fight? And I mean a physical motherfucking fight. I don't want to put my hands on shorty, but I can't take this no more. And I was taught not to ever put your hands on a woman, but I am not. Yo, that, yo, the rules are out the wit. I swear, I, she fucked me. To, I, I ain't the, the Lord gonna have to forgive me and the judge. Uh, uh, yo. So yeah, it's it's a tough, it's a tough situation. It's a tough situation. Try not to come home. Try not to come home because you know that there's there's a situation where y'all are separated in the home. Y'all separated in the same house. 
And you know when it gets bad, when it gets bad in a living arrangement, you you seem to not agree on anything. And that's really one of the reasons that a lot of people stop speaking to each other because they can't get it together. Like what used to be cordial conversations or, or long conversations have now been reduced to a, what did you eat? You ate, well, did you leave me any? Oh, you cook for everybody, but you ain't cook for me. You know, that kind of shit. That kind of shit. And that's when you know it's real. That's when you know it's real. You know what I'm saying? Let me give a shout out to my peoples because I'm coming in here all late. Robbie, Robin, me, my big sis. Good to see you coming through and doing your thing. And, 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 shit, 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 Charlene Curry. Charlene Curry. What's going on, Charlene? How you feeling, shit, Charlene? Good to see me some UT carry right morning, noon, and night. It's good to have my peoples all up in your sight. And Cherry, Cherry, Dana, Dana, Cherry, Cherry, Dana, 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 And Carol Chamber, let me favorite us. Always good to see you come through. It's good to see you. And, and, and Stacey Yvette, why I said, Holding it down for the D and and uh, Emily done lap is in the house. Bow, she about to turn it out. And I see my brother Ansel Jones, yo, the all the black girls can't leave him alone. Uh, and do what? Uh, who else do I see? Hold on, let me go down, scroll down a little bit. Uh, let me see, let me see. Did I, did I, is everybody covered? Oh, my brother from another mother, Norris Hill. I should have known you. Just sit back, relax, and chill. What's going on, my brother? Things are coming on through. Yeah, we started a little life. You know what we do. Yeah, I said, you know what we do. <laughs> you Norris know, Hill says, Norris Hill says, <clears throat> and that's why Happy Hour came into existence. Yeah, that kind of shit. But when you're looking for a happy hour every day, you know, uh, typically, I know in this city, happy hours was like on, on Fridays. But when you're looking for a happy hour every day, if you know the bar maids, if you know the bartenders at your spot, then you can get a happy hour all the time. Y'all know how that go. And some of y'all have some of y'all have done a little mixologist thing, Carol Chamberlain. You know what I'm talking about. So you know how it go. What's going on? Surely show the world's most precious and greatest pearl in the world. I said, surely show the world's most precious and greatest pearl in the world. Yeah. But y'all know this is a tough situation. It really is. You know, when you start getting to the point where you are saving money to get up out of the situation, but you can't leave right now. And there can be a, a variety of reasons that you might not want to leave. One of the reasons might be is because your name is on the lease. And if you break that lease, then it's going to be a little tougher for you in the future when it's time for you to move again. You don't want that type of um, um, voluntary eviction on your record. Understandable. Totally understandable. You know, and sometimes you may not want to leave the crib because that's your your fucking crib. You know, we're not even go getting into the marriage part yet. It just may be your crib. Like you bought this house, you bought this house, and and um you move somebody in with you to help pay the bills or to help somebody out or to do both. And uh and now and now 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 we separated. We separated like Avant, man. You know what I mean? We separated like Avant. Do you understand what I'm talking about? We are separated. And you don't have to be together in order to be, to be separated. You can be divided. Separated, divided is sort of the same thing. Separation sort of sort of, sort of um, indicates that you were together before, but you can be separated from the beginning. Like you go over here and you go over here. This is a common area. We'll meet in the middle. Well, I ain't meet nobody in the middle. Yo, money, fuck money in the middle. Yo, we don't do that thing in the middle. I don't even like the taste of your middle. You don't understand what I mean by the middle. Everybody in life got a middle. And the middle supposed to be a good thing. But it ain't always a good, good thing. But we separate it and we can't have a meeting of the mind. I don't like the way you do. I don't like your shine. You call that a shine. It's kind of dull. I ain't fucking with you. I ain't fucking with the bull. Yo, yo, that's how it go. Uh, yo, separated, yo. I pay my rent. Make sure you got the half. I ain't trying to hear that shit. It ain't funny. I laugh. Uh, you know what time it is. Yo, yo, do your shit. Yo, we separating the fourth and the ninth. And uh, don't look at my girl because I, I will get all up in your face. And uh, you ain't going to like how I take up space. That's, yo. That's my shit. Uh, 
Don't use my pots and pans and shit. Uh, don't wear my clothes. If you wear my clothes, I'm going to punch you in the fucking face. Yo, don't use nothing. Yo, we ain't even using a thing fucking soap. Yo, get your own bath and body work shit. Uh, yo, get your own toilet paper and towels and shit. Yes, I've seen it. It might have started when you was in college. Uh, and you know the time. Uh, yeah. Yeah, roommates, roommates starting, you know, you may have started your separation business all the way back when you was in your mom crib. You wasn't speaking to your brothers and your sisters like, yo, yo, such and such. Keep wearing my such and such. And I, I, I go to I go to work and I I buy my clothes and shit and, and she be wearing my shit before I even get a chance to wear my shit. My brother stole my chain like he didn't steal your chain. He just wore your chain. Yeah, but it's my chain, mom. I'm going to go put my shit on. I'm going to go put my chain on before I go to go to school. <clears throat> and my shit, my shit ain't there. I'm thinking somebody done, done stole my shit. You know, because you got a you got a drug addict living somewhere in the crib who comes near the crib. You know, the uncle came through. You know, he might scoop a little something. You got some, you got some bamboo earrings. Your uncle gonna take that. You got a new chain, your uncle is gonna take that. Got a three-finger ring, your uncle is gonna take that. Got a nugget, your uncle is gonna take that. You got a bracelet, your uncle is going to take that. Got a Longines white watch, your uncle is going to take that. Got some Mickey Mouse gear, your uncle is going to take that. Got a bomber jacket, your uncle is going to take that. Got a leather trench, your uncle is going to take that. Got a new goose down, your uncle is going to take that. You'll take anything that comes. Yo, where the fuck is my chain? My brother got my chain. He in school, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He don't give a fuck. You got the chain on with your piece on it. That shit clearly say Disco Darren. It say Disco D. He don't give a fuck. This shit fly. So he like, yeah, you know. He don't care if people know it's his, his brother chain. He don't care. He fly. But your brother fuck around get the chain snatched. He out there shining on your dime. Literally. You know, so you might be tired of your your, your, your baby brother <laughs> or your big brother trying to bully you. That's why he took the chain. Nonetheless, nonetheless, it's a problem. And you may have started just I'm not speaking to you game somewhere around there. You know, so that's a tough situation. But the bottom line is that you're separated. It's a household divided. It's a divided household, separated household, separation in the crib. <laughs> You know, anybody know what I'm talking about? Has anybody been there? <coughs> Ansel Jones says, "How can you live? How can you live in someone else's house and be disrespectful?" Shit, you want you want a couple of names, Ansel? Because we could do a show on that. Mm. And sometimes you have to look no farther than your than your children or your siblings when you want to find disrespect in the household. Because when you really think about it, Ansel, there are many ways to disrespect your your uh, your, your uh, parents' house. Any rule that your parent sets that you violate, you are being disrespectful. Sometimes you pay the price for it. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get away with it, but you're still being disrespectful. So your, your, your parents said that you're too young to drink or smoke. Guess what you've been doing? And you might be stealing their liquor. Um, has anybody ever been in a house where there was liquor in the house and and, and the parents marked their bottles? Anybody? D do I know too much? Because sometimes I be feeling like I'm talking to y'all like I'm on some alien shit. Y'all never been in nobody's house where the liquor was sacred and they, and, and they had a pop. They had a dad in there that marked off uh, um, where, he, where he last drunk. Just me, my I, it didn't happen in my house, but it probably should have. But I sure as hell been in houses where they would might mark off the cutty sark. Yeah, they would mark off the cutty sark. Cutty sark last my last taste of the cutty sark was right here. Okay. 
It's good. This bottle actually has um ounce markers. So this is 40. All right, we got it down here. What's that? 28 ounces. It was on the 28 ounce. I drunk it down to the 28 ounce a um, mark. How the fuck? How the fuck did it get all the way down here to the 20 ounce? I didn't drink that. And you know, kids were sometimes they just moved the tape. Like you don't know where you put the tape. That kind of shit. But that can start, that can start disrespecting, that can start the, the, the downward slope of being in a in a separated household. <clears throat> Let me see if this blog talk shit working now. Um, I, I'm gonna let y'all hear what it was doing. Now, when I press that button, it's supposed to hear, you're supposed to hear did did you supposed to hear it dialing, and then eventually you're supposed to hear it. You know, basically, the, the car is supposed to turn over, and then you hear, uh, you, know, you know, welcome to Blog Talk Radio to, to start the show, press number one, and to, you know, but it's not doing that. Oh, it says it says this these pages aren't responding. Well, I'm gonna just wait. Okay. Anyway, any, 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 any way. <laughs> Carol Simula says, "Yep, been there, done that." Shaking my head. Word. I'm talking about the um the 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 uh the bartender thing. The bartender. You was a bartender. TK Wright says, I've been there. Okay. Nope, liquor. Nope, no liquor in our house with Carol. Okay, Carol. I can. I can. I can. I got you. I got you. And so, and so Jones says, in the military, there's a club for different leadership levels in the same building E Club, NCO Club, Senior NCO Club. Okay. So, NCO, I think, stands for non commissioned officer. Okay. So, the E Club. It must E must stand for enlisted. Hey, hey, I didn't know I knew it. Hold on, hold on. I'm doing something over here. You know what I'm saying? Somebody must have been talking military around me, and it's just starting to kick in. But yeah, so when you live in it, and when you're under this type of living arrangement where there where the lines of what's right and what's wrong have been clearly crossed, you know, it's it's not a good look. It ain't a good look, no, no. So, so you know, you can find yourself in a separated household, and it's a tough situation. Some people stay in a sit in, in, in that situation because, like I said, it may be your house and you ain't going nowhere, but it also may be a situation where you have a lease and you pay you've been paying your shit, and no, you're not ready to go nowhere. So, yeah, I understand it's your house, but I also understand that I signed a lease to live in your house, and until I, I, until I'm ready to go, you better not fuck with none of my shit either. Until I'm ready to go, and until I start, I stop paying you. Then this is my space that I've rented. Respect my space because I'm paying for it. And if you get in the way of it, there will be problems. You fuck around and and not have control of a house that belongs to you. See, that's that landlord life. You will fuck around and lose control of a house. That belongs to you. So me, the renter, can take fully full control over your house because you wanted to be a dickhead. So, so a separated household, separated household. Sometimes it can get bad because it can get violent. It can it can become a violent situation, and nobody wants to be in a household where you feel like you might have to put your hands on somebody, especially on a regular basis. Now, you do have some people who like to bully, and so they don't have no problem trying to put their hands on somebody. But that's when it gets really, it gets so bad. By the time you get to that point, it, it has gotten so bad that that's dangerous. Y'all ever watch that show? Y'all ever watch the show Fear Thy Neighbor on, on, on the ID channel? It's a scary-ass show. Chronicles and chronicles stories of of uh, of neighbors that couldn't get along with each other and 
there's normally a fatality somewhere in the uh, on the show. Like whoever they're interviewing on the show, if you see, if you notice that they're not interviewing somebody in somebody who's in the story but not on uh, the live interview, normally that's the one who got it. So, so it's a tough situation, but um, I'm not even gonna get into it going that far. Let's just talk about it in terms of what it's like to be in such a stressful situation like that. A separated household, a, a household where people are not speaking to each other, living under the same roof, passing each other in the same common spaces, <sighs> avoiding each other, making sure that they don't bump into each other in kitchens and living rooms and family rooms and common areas, lounges, shit like that. If you have those types of um, areas, you could be living in a regular row home. And everybody in the house got uh, got their um, they doors locked, closed and locked. And all of them in the house are having negative conversations about the other people in the house to their peoples. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. When you, when you in your house and you got to keep your voice down while you on the phone because you talking about some other people that live in the house. So, you know, you be on that type shit. Right? Hey, what's going on, man? Yeah, yeah, anything good? So what's up, yo, yo? I called you, um, cause I'm gonna find out. Listen, listen, you know, I was blah 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 blah, and you know what I'm saying? But it's cool. Oh, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Oh, this dickhead. Yo, this dickhead. Um, hold on, let me let me make sure my door closed and shit. All right. Yeah, man. I can't wait to get up out of this motherfucker, man. This dickhead came in here today. You know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, first of all, that Pico, that, that electric bill is due. And he always late with this shit. And we wind up having to pay late fees. I'm not paying that shit. I'm not paying that shit again. But anyway, man. So what's up with you, man? You get, yo, so this weekend, you know, they having a the cabaret. They having a cabaret up the um up uh, um temptations. So they having a the cab up temptations and shit. So you know the motorcycle club they throwing this shit they, yeah they they, they they not having it at the rec, at the regular motorcycle club spot you know so they throwing the shit at temptations so we going to go up there you want to go i mean you going you going right all right so so um i'm going to take care of the food side of it yo this motherfucker better not ask to go either he better not fucking ask to go and he better not show the fuck up cuz i look I, I need to have some fun this weekend and shit, you know what I mean? We gonna go to cab, we gonna chill. Yo, man, I just got a new mink. Yeah, that's for real. I just got a new mink and shit, man. Drop three three stacks on this shit. Yeah, you know I mean, I I I've been looking for a chance to watch wear it. Shit, it's just about to be it's about to start getting warm, but it's gonna be cold this weekend. So I'm gonna throw the mink on. So I don't get the mink. But anyway, so you know I'm talking. <laughs> Yo, you you understand what I'm saying? You a house. Talking shit about the people in the house. You in the house, you talking shit about somebody in the house because it's a separated household. It's separated, side. It's separated. I'm just in the blog talk side. You know what I mean? Got it, blog talk. Got it. Got it. I don't need you. I got you too. I got, I got, I, <laughs> I got, I, I got Instagram. All right. <laughs> but yeah, it's a tough situation. It is. It's a tough situation. And, and it's a situation that you would rather avoid. But here it is. Here it is. My man, Lawrence Sakel, all up in the house. My man, my brother, my mellow, my man, yo, my man, Lawrence Sakel, you know where he stands on all issues. Yo, come through, you cry, get the tissue, blow your nose, feel good. Yo, clocking, man, hold on. Just a second, don't disrespect your crib. You don't have to reckon your respect people that live in there. And that's even if you don't care. Here, here. <clears throat> it's tough. We're talking about a separated household tonight, y'all. Talking about a separated household. 
living in the house with people that you don't like, living in the house with people that you're not speaking to. Other than you're not, you know, listen, you can be partially not speaking to somebody, but I consider it to be all the way not speaking to somebody if y'all not really on a high and by basis. Y'all, y'all may not have anything cordial to say to each other, like there are no good mornings or anything like that, but it might be like. The juice is mine in the refrigerator, but you can have some. The juice. Drink the Minute Maid, though. You know, they had that hot fructose corn syrup shit. Don't drink my good shit. Good shit. Drink that cheap ass dollar fifty nine minute made juice. You drink that shit. The berry punch, the fruit punch, and the berry punch. Actually, a berry punch be good in the motherfucker though. I ain't gonna hold you. That shit be good, in the motherfucker. No, that's back in the day when I would drink the ten percent, ten percent um fruit juice, ten percent. You know what I mean? <laughs> Lawrence Sickle says, "Son, I have no idea what you talk about." <laughs> and so Jones, okay wait no it still says my mom made me drink the rest of a bottle after i was sneaking so much that i <laughs> that there was maybe a, a quarter a quarter left when when, when i was busted she said you want to get drunk okay then you're gonna get all the way drunk <laughs> you want to play i i i <laughs> That's what's up, though. But yeah, Lawrence said, take me off speaker for <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, this shit is serious. A separated household. And, and what's really amazing about this shit is the division passes down to other people who don't have nothing to do with it so if you're not speaking or you really had a bad falling out with somebody in the crib whoever they bring over might be mutual friends with both of y'all but now they gotta act separated too so whoever asked them to come over or whoever they came over for that's whose side they have to be on because you know the people in the house are petty the two people in the crib that are separated or more, it could be more people. You, you can have four or five, however many people live in the crib. That, that can be the two sides. They're going to be two sides. It won't be three. It'll be two. You know, the teams like, well, I'm, I'm rocking. I, either you going with you, either you going with Jay or you going with Dame. Jay-Z or Dame Dash. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? You either got to roll with Jay or you got to roll with Dame. I'm Dame. You know what's going to happen if you roll with, with, with Jay. You know, Dame be looking out. But you know Dame, how you know how Dame gets sometimes. But, mm -hmm. but anyway, you know, it's 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 a so people who come over to the crib now they gotta act like, well, you know, I ain't, you know, I'm I still love both of y'all, but while I'm here. Separation, separation, separate, separation, separation. So, 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 you know, the one being aware of a war that's going on in a house and the separation that's taking part, taking place. So it's like you speak, you speak to the other one. Hey, how you doing, man? And they want to, they because they not mad at you. They going to definitely pour it on. Like, hey, how you doing? Come on on the room. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like you y'all know what I mean. Yeah, come on over here. So let me show you something. Blah 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 blah. Now, now that's drawing a a, a bigger wedge. Now, if, if the person that you came over to see is not as petty as the situation obviously says that it is, then they might not mind you still speaking kicking it and and you know being cool with the other side but other than that they might not be like nah 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 
Listen, we about to go anyway. So let's just, you know, get our shit and get on up out of here. Or let me, let me, you came over here to fix my computer. Let's go. I, look, come over here and fix the computer. You came over here. Let's fix the computer. And I'm going to show you these new magazines I got. I got, I got the new issues of Black Tail. These bitches, you got to see what they've been doing lately. Got some videos too. But anyway, you know, it's a tough situation. And it trickles down into other people who don't have nothing to do with it. Uh-oh, hold on. What we got? What we got? And so Jones says, sending send in text to people in the same room. Yo, and so, yeah. Yes, and so. <laughs> Lauren Single says, yo, do not touch my juice. So it says, I remember having a mini fridge in my room. Some people have a fridge in their room because they don't feel like getting up to go to the refrigerator, the, the big, the, the, the house refrigerator in the middle of the night or whatever. And they might have, you might have drinks and stuff when you entertain company in your room or whatever. You might have some things in your own refrigerator. That's cool. And other people have a fridge in their room because, no, I'm not putting my fucking meat in that refrigerator. Because people, some people in this house seem to just eat anything that they didn't pay for. And I don't want to have to kill nobody over no colossal shrimp. But I do that shit. You ain't going to be running around here using shit like you a pimp. But who the fuck do you think you are? You ain't a superstar. You ain't nobody that I care about. But you are a negative, toxic bastard. And I'm tired of wasting that shit. I've mastered the art of keeping toxic people out of my life. All praise due to Allah. It's no strife. I say, I ain't fucking with you no more. I ain't fucking with you no more. Said, I ain't fucking with you. Said, I am with you through enough. I ain't trying to hear nothing that you're saying. I'm keeping this shit 100%. I ain't playing. Yo. A separated household, y'all. A separated household. A household separated. Okay. Robbie Ming says, Eating and drinking your food juice and not buying nothing. Yep. No, so I almost poisoned some some candy just to see who was taking it. <laughs> yo, yo, Chad, yo, what the, yo, come on, man. Y'all telling real stories though. This shit is crazy. Yo, y'all, y'all, y'all talking crazy though. <laughs> Yo, okay. <laughs> she has it at Robin. Hate that. Don't touch my stuff. Mm -hmm. Y'all about to start dusting for prints. Norris says. <laughs> at no, oh no, no. Carol says at Norris did it at work. People touching my damn lunch. Yo, who hasn't been through that? Who has never had their lunch? items stolen sometimes they steal the whole lunch you know what i mean sometimes you have to run the cameras back and motherfuckers get fired over stealing yep well yeah it is what it is it is what it is i worked at one job and they stole a big a big tub of hummus that i had i'm thinking like who the fuck likes hummus that much besides me hummus that's what we doing Y'all stealing a whole big tub of red pepper, uh, red pepper hummus or whatever. What is it? What is it? Red pepper, spicy pepper, some shit. The pepper shit. And this wasn't even, this, this wasn't a good organic hummus. This was the Sabra shit. This was the Sabra shit. You know, Sabra is good hummus, but it ain't. It's the regular, you know, it's the, it's the wonder bread of hummus. You know, it ain't the good shit. You know what I'm saying? Stole the whole thing with the big jaw. It's the big jaw. I was like, y'all stealing hummus? 
I'm thinking you're going to steal some potluck items. You don't steal healthy food. Who does that? What kind of animal are you? What kind of animal are you? A separated household, y'all. Anything can happen in a separated household because the, the people who are separated are petty. And even if you're not a petty person, you know, intrinsically, you can be made to be petty. When you see some, when somebody has your back up against the wall and they have you in a situation where, you, where it's going to look like you are afraid to do something about a situation that you are a part of, you know, you not everybody can take that. I know I couldn't. No, I don't consider myself to be a petty person, but I'm going to get at you. You know, I can't have a situation where I feel like somebody is bullying me. And sometimes that feeling of standing up for yourself to make sure that you don't get bullied, it can take you to places that can be very dark. Robbie Robbie Mink says, petty, petty, stealing hummus. Yeah, yeah. Rob, I was like, hummus? Out of all the shit. You know, I'm bringing, I don't, I, this was at a time I didn't eat no meat during the day. So I'm only bringing fruit items like, you know, like, uh, uh, my grapes, my pineapple, uh, watermelon in the, uh, in the late spring and summer. That was all I ate. Uh, there was a time I used to eat salad. Like I used to bring my salad in the container or whatever, but I stopped doing that once I started eating the colon ream, drinking the colon ream. I just drink my, you know. So, but that was all I did. So the hummus was like a snack for me. I would take some pretzels and dip them in the hummus and so the fucking big it was the big joint. It wasn't a it wasn't a little flat joint. You know what I'm talking about, the little flat. No, it was the big. I was like. Who the fuck would steal hummus? Hummus? I mean, is that what have we gotten that far as a society? Were we stealing hummus? What you gonna do next? Yo, man. So who the fuck took my tofu? Who stole my tofu? And my I, I, and I had some vegan wraps. You know how, how expensive that bullshit ass vegan food is? It's way more expensive than a regular wrap. Eating healthy is expensive. I had a vegan chicken wrap. Who would steal a vegan chicken wrap? Your whole... The whole purpose of vegan food and vegan lifestyle is so you won't steal, so you won't violate, so you won't disrespect. You're supposed to respect the earth. You out here stealing non-GMO. What's wrong with you, son? What's wrong with you? <laughs> and so Joe says, people took, took pens off my desk and got mad because they forgot forgot they took it. Uh, no, I, just, I once I once got even with somebody by the way of their spaghetti. <laughs> yo, yo, you was wilding tonight, yo. Was... <laughs> yo, how can you get even when you're at odds? Yo. I don't think you got even with with that, my brother. I think you, I think you, I think you got past them. I think, I think that you probably got a little past them. I, I believe, I believe so. I believe so. Sure, husband said, got me quoting Beyonce. I bought it. Please don't touch. If I bought it, please don't touch. Word. Lord says that work. Okay. Lord says the candy dish never goes on. Un- yeah. You- you can forget that. <clears throat> Listen, where there's chocolate and there's women, then there's an empty candy dish. Case closed. That's not up for debate. It's not even a diss. It's a reality. I'm, I might can't write that on Facebook. 
Because <laughs> they be they be suspending my account for dumb shit. <laughs> but I can say it right, chump. Where there's a candy dish with chocolate and there's women is an empty candy dish. Check that shit at 7 o'clock. Now check that shit at 3.30. Yo, check that shit on the second shift. Yo, that shit was done by 1.30. It was done by 1.30. Even the big joint acting like she don't eat that shit. She gonna make sure she get like some of that shit. Got a whole purse full of full of that shit. You know how it got. Yeah. It's, yeah. What? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Separated household. A separated household. So let's get into it. So so as we move on, let's start talking about when it is a couple. Or we can go straight to the marriage one. Whatever y'all want to do. But when you're talking about a situation, let's go to the whole marriage thing. How can you be married living under the same roof and call yourself being separated? Now, I know people that will have done it, and I've heard other stories about it, and it doesn't make any sense to me. A separation should mean, listen, you, you, you're, in, you're in the middle of divorce proceedings and y'all living under the same roof. What, 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 what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Well, it goes back to that. Sometimes it's my house. That's the way you feel. Even though... It's community property right now, but you may call yourself protecting community property. And really, even though it becomes community property when you go to church, excuse excuse me, when you go to court, most spouses in that situation are not rational enough to really look at it as community property. They're looking at it like, I'm a, I'm going to get this house. This is my house. It was my house before, and it's going to be my house in the end. I pay every all the bills. I built this house. I put everything in this house. Judge don't give a fuck about none of that. Like, you obviously didn't understand what getting married meant. But you don't be thinking about it like that. And, then, and, and before y'all stand in front of the judge, y'all separating right there. But how do you call yourself in divorce proceedings with somebody or separated from somebody and y'all living right there in the same house? And I've seen crazy situations where they're doing this, where a couple, where a man and a woman are doing this shit. They are a married couple. They are full 100% legal marriage license wielding spouses. And they are saying, well, we separated. So... She sleeps up there. I sleep down here. She sleeps upstairs. I she sleeps upstairs in in our bedroom. I sleep downstairs. Sometimes there are children involved. Sometimes there are children involved. Now that might be the reason that y'all call yourselves staying together or trying to work it out, but going through a separation. And divorce if it goes on any longer. So, yeah. So, um, mm -hmm. what y'all got? What y'all got? TK right says, stole my damn hummus and my crackers. Drank my freaking ginger cum cucumber juice. Those swines, no good bastards. My sickle says, married people never stop talking to each other. <laughs> By the way, y'all don't understand that my man is mad sarcastic. So when he says married people never stop talking to each other, he means. Married people often stop talking to each other. That's what he's saying. <laughs> he's talking in reverse. Guys, able to say at Lawrence, oh yes, they do. You understand now, um, 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 Carol. Yeah, you know, me and him used to talk like that all the time. Well, we still do. You know, it says at Lawrence Eagle, ask my ex-wife. The child we went half on is grown and she's too busy with whoever and dumb enough to be with her. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. 
married people, live under the same roof, not speaking to each other. But I've heard about other crazy situations where they are separated in the house, but they still fuck every now and then, but not in the original bedroom. And after they get it in, they leave the house. I mean, they leave, they go back to their respective um, bedrooms. So they might come and hit each other off once a week, every other week or whatever, but they, they really, they recognize that they can't get along, but they still get horny and they still, you know, I guess turn each other on sexually or whatever. So they go and get their shit off. Now, I don't know how this can happen because all the women I know, after they fuck, they ain't mad no more. So I guess I just haven't been there. But the chicks I know, they don't be mad. They be like, well, rainbows and unicorns, rainbows and unicorns, mermaids, rainbows and unicorns, so rainbows and unicorns. I said, rainbows and unicorns and Rainbows, mermaids, and unicorns. I said, of 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 rainbows, mermaids, and unicorns. Rainbows, mermaids, and unicorns. Rainbows, mermaids, and unicorns. I said, of rainbows, mermaids, and unicorns. Yo, for the next few hours, she is having an hour, the power of rainbows, mermaids, unicorns. She was horny and now is on. I ain't mad at you no more, oh. I ain't mad at you no more, oh. You could do no wrong. I ain't never see you do nothing wrong. You all right, man. I know what's going on. And I know that the Lord knows your heart. <laughs> I know the Lord knows your heart. You ain't that bad. You got some problems. I know that you got some shit you need to solve, but uh, everybody got their shit. We, I, I even, I even got my shit. Want to do it again? Want to do it again? Got some rainbows, mermaids, and unicorns. I said, do it again. I said, do it again. I said, rainbows, mermaids, and unicorns. Again. I said, do it again. Want to do it again? I said, rainbows, mermaids, and unicorns. Again. I said, do it again. So spouses living under the same roof ain't not speaking. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> you know, like so. And 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 there are situations where sometimes they're dating other people. Now they can't bring them to the crib, can they? They can't do that. They can't do that. How are you gonna be married to somebody you living outside the crib and you invite some? Come on, you can't do that. You can't do that. But sometimes it gets done. Sometimes it gets done. Like a, a situation where where a, a, a husband and wife are not speaking under the same roof, it can get pretty trifling. It can. Make sure that y'all hit that like button, y'all. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Make sure that y'all share the show. Make sure that y'all subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. It is the Daily Go Get Amism Show. What up, Shisha Charlene? What up, Cherry Cherry? What y'all do? Oh, y'all talking now? That's what's up. I thought y'all wasn't. I thought we were separated. I was like, all right, Cherry Cherry ain't talking to me. That's all good. All right, Shisha sh 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 Charlene. She ain't, you know what I mean? She ain't got no words for me. Okay, what we got? <laughs> Wait a minute, Cherry Cherry said. Not everybody's getting rainbows and unicorns and <laughs> people be still mad. Yo! <laughs> yeah. I said. Yeah, I said, yeah, I said, yeah, rainbows, mermaids, and unicorns, I said, 
rainbows and mermaids and unicorns. I said rainbows and mermaids and unicorns. I said rainbows and mermaids and the unicorn. I said, I said a rainbows and mermaids and unicorn. I said rainbows and mermaids and a hey, unicorn. I said, I said, I said rainbows and mermaids and unicorns. I know that you got it going on, but that's only in the physical sense because all that other shit that you should still do that don't make no sense. I don't like to talk to you from the past 10 minutes because after that shit, I need to get diminished. And I need to get in it and bring back the, the unicorns and the mermaids and the goddamn pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, ho. I, yo, you make me mad too much. You used to be cool as shit. We used to spark the dust. We used to drink a 40. We used to eat a cheese steak. I mean, we used to get some motherfucking live ass steak in a, And we used to get colossal shrimp. I ain't shared none of my shit with you. No, can't stand. That's when you know it's bad. That's when you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell, you, I'm gonna tell you how you know it's bad. I'm gonna tell you when you know that you in in cold red. I'm gonna tell you. You know you in cold red. You know you in a bad situation when your girl got big titties and you deny that she got them. Them them motherfuckers sticking out. They fucking. They fucking e f h. And you like, they are, I mean, they used to be big. <laughs> Yo, I mean, they used to be big. Dang, them shits. I mean, because they used to sit up before. Motherfucker, how H, H titties ever sit up? <laughs> I'm telling you, they did. You know what I mean? They used to sit up, and that's when she had high self esteem. As soon as, as soon as they started to drop, you know, you know, everybody loves a star till the star starts to drop. Everybody loves the titty till the titty starts to sag. You know, as soon as that happens, then she started acting a fool and shit. But that's when you know you're in trouble. Like my titties ain't that big. I'm trying to tell you. What you really saying is it ain't really worth the trouble, you know. The physical part, yeah. For those who don't know, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna re that's gonna draw you in, but it's just not all it's cracked up to be. That's what you're really trying to say. But you like you in denial of everything. Like, nope, she ain't got no big titties. She used to have them. No, I mean, she, yeah, she used to have a fat ass. She ain't got no fat ass. I ass so big, you, it, that shit look like a you 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 could put you could put items on that shit like it's a like it's a like it's a mantelpiece. Yeah, she got that ass that you know. This is her back, and then her ass go this way, and then it go round. Like you can put her, you can put shit on there. It's a mantelpiece ass. Shake it, shake it, baby. Uh, I said, shake it, shake it, baby. I said, shake it, shake it, baby. If she, if you should ever find someone new. Take your bras and all your panties too. Cause I ain't trying to fuck with you. Not round here, not round here. Okay. All right. Okay, wait. <laughs> All right, wait, 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 hold on. Where, where we at? Okay, y'all in the same house, but not together. Y'all roommates. Lawrence Sickle says if they don't stop talking to each other, sometimes they may hurt each other. 
No sarcasm. That's true. Cherry Cherry says. So y'all roommate roommates. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> just thought of a term. Their spouse mates. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Cherry Cherry says. Not everybody. Okay, not okay. I've read that one. Charlie says, "You're right. We're not mad anymore." See, see, Charlene. See, she Charlene ain't the one to be fronting. Like, yeah, you know, get my shit. I mean, I mean, yeah, I might not be able to stand you, but the dick ain't never do nothing wrong. You know, it's sister, 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 Charlene Curry. Get that ass up quick, fast in the hurry. Shush, 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 Charlene. I said, shush, 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 shush. Just playing with you, Charlene. Just playing, Charlene. Just, just playing to Charlene. It's a Libra thing. Libras never hold out on the ass. They, look, they can hate your guts. But it's like, wait a minute. One thing does not have anything to do with the other. I I can't stand you. But there is this little thing that you do, so we'll do that. We'll find the one thing that we, that still attracts us to each other and it's that. Huh. So if you want a woman that'll hold out on the ass, get an Aquarius. You want a woman who would give up the ass? Get a Libra. That's just the way it is. All right. So, <laughs> DK Wright says, You were looking for something to rhyme with in it. You should have said, If you really want to finish, then give me, get, then give her a Guinness. <laughs> How nasty as shit. Why did we used to drink that shit? What, 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 Jamaica's got us drinking that nasty ass shit. Shit tastes like dirt. Fucking Guinness. I said you had the nerve to be expensive. Why we why why do we drink that? Fucking Guinness. Guinness. Okay. <laughs> so, so show me what you're working with. TK Ray says. Just look over your shoulder, honey. Oh, ba 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 ba. Look, Cheryl coming into myself. Of course, if your stroke game is good, <laughs> I'm no longer mad. If you can't make me happy when I'm mad, then what you hear? Yo, <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? And hit the thing about it is i get chastised all the time about talking about sex every now and then because i hardly ever talk about it but when i when i finally you know interject something about you know um male and female intimacy you know people want to say oh my god here oh my god but on the low you know, it's just part of life, and evidently, the daily the daily go get em -ism is full of a bunch of horn dogs. It is what it is, but at least I recognize the fuck is you doing, huh? What is you doing? Okay, oh, so it says when they stay on the phone until going to bed to say. <laughs> to say it's a problem is an understatement. True. True. TK writes about some 100% sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so says, damn, Cheryl, put it on put it on the application. <laughs> Omar, stop that. We talk about everything. No apologies. I'm saying, I know what I'm talking about because, you know what I mean? Because, you know, it is what it is out here. It is what it is out here. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is out here. But, yeah, man. You know, spouses living with each other. 
not talking to each other. It's a bad situation. It really is, but it exists. So I guess before we get out of here, we need to talk about what you can do in order to remedy this situation. And as far as I can see, you you need to do one of two things. You, you're either going to hang in there until it actually starts to come back together. Because I have heard about situations where, where, the, where the male did move back up into the master bedroom. You know what I mean? He brought his clothes back up from the basement and all of that shit. Folded up the... Um, Folded up the uh the the futon. Now the futon can be a full time co um, um couch in in the basement. Mm -hmm. Might even have to get a new a new cushion for the futon. Got to get a new cushion for the futon. We've retired the futon. Daddy's going upstairs. Daddy's home. Daddy's home. To stay. That's right. Go, daddy. Go, daddy. Sure, I says, talking about, I'm still mad. <laughs> just, no, I said, if I'm still mad, better work on that S game <laughs> or fingers or <laughs> you know what? This is going to, this is going mad left. Let's do these birthday shout outs. Okay. Birthday shout outs. We have some birthday shout outs to do. Some people were born on this glorious, glorious, glorious. March 18th, and they deserve to be acknowledged. So let's go about our business of acknowledging them and making them feel special because they are special because they are special because they are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They get number one out the box, Bernard Hall. Turning 57 years old today, and also Phyllis James turning 39 years old today, and Margaret Margaret Bona turning 50 years old today, and Angie Gonzalez turning 30 years old today, and Devin Robinson, happy birthday to you, and my cuz New York's finest Siobhan Rush, and Mariam Haynes, happy birthday to you, and and news reporter, sports reporter Beasley Reese, happy birthday to you, bees, and last but not least. Alpha Bohannon, 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 Bohannon. Happy birthday to you. I want to say happy birthday to all of you and anyone else out there who shares this birthday on this glorious, 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 glorious. March 18th, anywhere out there in the world, worldwide, internationally, and universally. All of y'all go ahead and turn up. Turn up, but don't turn up too loud. Just turn up loud enough so everybody can hear you. A rock out, rock on it, do the damn, the damn, the rock out, rock on it, do the, do the damn, rock out, rock on it, do the damn thing, you do your thing, y'all. Represent the queens and kings, you do your thing, y'all. Represent the queens and kings. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind, and any, any, to any, to, uh, anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours, and remember, man, listen, being in a separated household ain't a good thing. That's not a healthy thing, because when it all comes down to it, you are living with somebody that you consider to be your enemy. Even if you don't consider them to be a full-fledged, dangerous enemy, they're not a friend in what a friend should really be. You know, the people in your life that you associate with the most should be the ones that reinforce your good feelings and make you feel positive and inspired by life. They shouldn't be the ones that you have to take a deep breath and mentally prepare yourself for because you know that most of the things that come out of their mouth are things that you're not going to want to hear because you your tolerance level for them has diminished almost to, to zero or sub-zero. And it may not even be all of their fault. You know, the, you may be part of the problem, but part of the problem that is, is even you is that you don't want this anymore. But you're still there under the same roof. You're still there. You got to make a move. You know, sometimes you have to make the decision to either shit or get off the pot. Shitting is staying and getting off the pot 
is leaving. You know? Ain't nobody leaving. Somebody got drunk. They in the corner dry even. Cherry Cherry says, no, Cheryl. I just had a bad experience with fingers. He thought he was an old school DJ cutting and scratching. Yo, he wasn't finger popping, right? Oh. Dang. Hookah, 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 hookah. Hookah, 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 hookah. Hookah, 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 hookah. Hookah, 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 hookah. Hookah, hookah, hookah. Ow! Ow! Okay, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, just come up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just, just put it in. Just put it in. Just put it in. Just put it in. Just, just go ahead, baby. Just, just put it in. Just, just, just. <laughs> when trying to do the right thing went all wrong. All wrong. All wrong. Listen, I want y'all to have a great night. Peace to all my day ones, my every days, and my brand news. I love y'all to death. Resuscitate y'all. Love y'all right back to life. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Make sure y'all share the show. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. We will be back tomorrow night for another Daily Go Getemism show. And sha na na and sha na na and. Hold on, let me see what we're gonna be talking about tomorrow. If I wrote it, if I wrote it down, let me see. <sighs> nah, we get into it tomorrow. It's all good. It's all love. So it's, it's all love, baby. So all right. So the only okay. So blog talk is already gone. So my 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 Instagram people, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back into it, man. I'm gonna holler back. I, I I get with you though. I mean, still love you. And for my YouTubers, yo, I hope y'all enjoyed the show. Even though we was late, I hope y'all enjoyed the show as much as I enjoyed broadcasting it. So I will get back. I I, I will, I'm, I'm gonna get back at y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna holler back. You know what I'm saying? Yo, everything is alright. I holler. I say, Rock Kim. I say, peace.